then one notable thing is that revenues have continued to come into the state uh, despite economists saying that there could be a recession, you know, on the horizon. Let's get a little Civics 101. First, what are supplemental budget requests? What might they involve? And tell us a little bit more about them because, you know, the legislature in Washington State does a two-year budget cycle. They set the budget last session for two years. Why are they doing budget stuff this year? It's supposed to be not a budget year. The way that I think of it is that it's an update to the state's two-year budget is what the supplemental budget is. So you're right that in the odd years, they write the two-year budget. Last year, for the first time, the state budget uh, was over $50 billion. So that was perhaps a notable threshold to go above. Then one notable thing is that revenues have continued to come into the state uh, despite economists saying that there could be a recession you know, on the horizon. For now, the state economy is continuing to pump money into the into the state into the state coffers so you have a situation where there is more money to work with there are also some additional needs that have come up and priorities and so you, what you'll see is the budgets will probably do a combination of address um, what are called maintenance level costs that uh, were something they're already funding the costs exceeded what they expected and then it's likely the majority of democrats will want to fund some new things especially i would expect in the arena of housing and homelessness, which has become a top priority in this legislative session, and frankly a top priority for both Democrats and Republicans, although they don't always see eye to eye on what the best solutions are. And certainly the governor has been urging additional funding. He wanted them to tap into the rainy day fund uh, to um, fund some more shelter beds in particular. I don't think there's a lot of appetite to do that, but with this additional money in the budget, they may be able to, they may be able to do some of what the governor wants without tapping into the rainy you can see more of Austin's reporting on these and other topics at nwpb.org. Thank you for joining us here in the Unique Northwest.